many of you have questions after we told you about the man accused of running over two King High School students. One of those students died. So many of you want to know why Elton Holmes bonded out of jail so quickly. Investigative reporter Jessica Savage looked into it and explains how it happened. About 12 hours after Rayanne Garza died in the arms of bystanders, the man accused of running her over had posted bond and was in the process of being released from county jail. Here's what led up to it. On Tuesday, Corpus Christi police charged Elton Waiton Holmes Jr. with two felony counts of accident involving a death or injury. He went to the Corpus Christi Detention Center, and early Wednesday morning, Holmes appeared before a city judge who set his bond at $100,000. As we've reported, Holmes has a lengthy criminal history. That includes prison time. Judicial ethics meant that presiding city judge Gail Loeb couldn't talk specifically about this case, but she did say a judge does have legal parameters to consider, things such as criminal history, a threat to the public. But in the end, it all comes down to this. It's all discretionary. That's what the judge does in their own mind. They have to evaluate all these factors and decide what's appropriate in that case for that defendant. After the bond was set, Holmes was taken to the county jail where he posted bond. As he was getting ready to leave, Nueces County District Court Judge Sandra Watts stepped in and set several bond conditions. Those conditions put Holmes under house arrest, among others. And he's being closely monitored by the courts. Jessica Savage, Six Investigates. But we do have some breaking news right now. We have just found out that the suspect that Jessica was just talking about, uh, Elton uh, Wayne Holmes Jr., has been re-arrested. It turns out uh, police are saying that he violated the terms of his bond, and they re-arrested him uh, today. And we'll have more details on that arrest later on in this newscast.